Alrighty guys, so welcome back to another video. So in today's video we are doing a tier list for the armors now. Uh, up next should most definitely be the pickaxes when it comes to tier lists. And then we are actually going to be doing a player tier list uh, later on this week. It just depends whenever the person who's helping me with that um, finishes uh, the list of people they want me to uh, add to the tier list. So. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like and sub. Here's a YouTube comment shout out. Let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Alrighty, guys. So we're going to go ahead and start with the tier list here. I've uh, popped up the games so I can uh, actually get the names correct. I tried doing a take before this, but I kept messing up the names and stuff. Um, so I'm just going to have the game up on my main monitor here. And then a uh, tier list over on the second monitor. So if you guys see me looking over a lot, just when I'm looking at the tier list. Um, but yeah, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started with it. We're going to be starting with the Raider armor. Your boy is uh, in the game. No, I'm just joking. Um, we are not in the game. That would be nice, though, if, we, uh, you know, if they ever added like my logo or something like that to the Raider armor. Um, now, speaking of the Raider armor, that's most definitely going to be an A-tier um, armor right here. And the reason why is because it adds a 25% clip size to SMG-type weapons. And if you guys saw my uh, weapon tier list video... I pretty much rated the SMG like a high B tier, and uh, the armor definitely increases it to that A tier type of range, uh, making the armor pretty much A tier. The thing keeping it from S tier um, because of how much uh, damage the SMG does, and uh, and because of the less uh, what is it, uh, less protection you get from the Raider armor compared to like having um, the energy armor or something like that. So uh, that's what keeps it away from S. Now we're doing the recovery armor. Um, so recovery armor actually increases your health and uh, your shields and health, sorry, by 25% when you take shields or potions. Um, so like white health or uh, shields and like showdown and stuff like that. So honestly, this one is most definitely probably gonna fall into the B or C category. Um, I might even just drop it to C. So this one's pretty useless when it comes to anything else outside of Showdown because it's the only one where you have the shields and potions. Um, on top of that, it's like, yeah, it's decent to where it gives you more, but at the same time, you're not really sitting there popping potions and Showdown with all the bots around and stuff like that, so not really much use to it. Um, also has decreased health compared to the other armor, such as like the energy armor and stuff like that, so um, definitely on the lower tier side of things. Now, next thing we're going to be covering is, let's see, I believe this one's, yeah, the construction armor. So this one is 25% to materials harvested from destroyed objects. So this one, once again, is really only useful in game modes like Showdown. Um, so this one's probably going to be a low C tier right below the recovery armor. Um, I know that it's good to have builds in Showdown, but at the same time, it's 25%. You don't really notice a whole lot off, off of that. Like, um, instead of it being uh, 10 per hit, I think it's like, or sorry, I think it's 20 per hit. I think it's like 25. So it's not really that much of a difference, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, and the, like the grand scheme of things, it's definitely not like that big of a difference, honestly. And it still has that decreased um, armor as well. So when it comes to health. Alrighty, guys. Now we're going to be talking next about the marksman armor so this one gives you a 25 percent reload speed for sniper type weapons um once again i think we have ourselves another c tier here high c tier for sure um once again only really useful for the sniper obviously um but also snipers uh, they do take a bit to reload but they don't really take like a super long time it's not something you would use over some of these other armors um, just compared to the other ones, it's just not that great. I'm guessing if it was like if there was no AR or SMG armor in here, it would probably be a lot higher up. But still, it's just not all that great. Not really used. I never see it really used that often. Um, and not a, and not everyone, you know, um, runs snipers in general. Even in competitive, they usually run SMG in their third slot. So, anyways, uh, so that's gonna cover for that one. Now we're gonna move on to let's see. This one is the buckshot armor. So buckshot armor. Uh, that gives you 25% reload speed to shotgun type weapons. Now, I think we have our B tier here. Um, I say B tier because shotguns are already pretty good in the game, and if you can increase that reload, especially when it comes to like guns like the shorty and stuff like that, um, it's definitely a big help there, uh, especially with the pump shotgun as well. Honestly, I might even bump it to a... Uh, I think I'm going to bump it to a high A tier, only because I think that it's better than the SMG one for the Raider armor. So 
Um, yeah, shotguns are used in pretty much every single loadout. SMGs are, I mean, they're more likely to be used, but they're not in every single loadout. Like I said, snipers are sometimes used. Uh, so when it comes to usefulness, it's definitely the shotgun one over that one. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my rating on that one right there. So yeah, shotgun armor does pretty well. Holds up pretty well against other armors. Now we're going to be moving on to the medic armor. Um, so it gives you 3% shield slash potions, uh, health, or sorry, shield slash health potions to carry. Um, basically, you have a higher capacity of uh, health carrying. And honestly, this one is pretty, uh, I don't know, pretty lame. I think we found our first uh, D tier here. Because once again, like I said, you're not really looting around, walking around the boxes when you're fighting a bunch of bots. I guess if you're sitting there trying to do like a challenge of where you can collect the most shield and health or something like that. I don't know. Um, but once again, that's definitely a D tier. I don't think any... Uh... Oh yeah, also, since there's no F tier in here, guys, I didn't put an F tier on purpose because I don't really think any of these armors are F tier because of the, uh, you know, having armor in general helps you out a lot. But there are definitely some worse armors in here. So um, yeah, this medic armor is just not great. Definitely one of the worst ones. Uh, once again, only useful in showdown and reduced health compared to the other ones as well. So now we're going to be moving on to some of the uh, better ones here. So we have the, I believe this one is called the, yeah, it's a duelist. So you get 25% clip size, the pistol type weapons. So this one is most definitely a C tier. Um, it's definitely below the sniper. So obviously pistols are pretty weak, um, a lot weaker than snipers themselves. So that's not something that you could really consider to run honestly especially in competitive or anything like that um, and not everybody uses pistols so like i said uh based on the usefulness of it it's just not all that great so definitely a higher uh c tier but not any higher than that so alrighty, last three armors here boys so we have the mercenary armor which gives you 25 percent clip size to an assault type uh weapon which this is most definitely going to be um an s tier now, I say S tier because ARs, uh, especially ARs at the Spec Ops with an increased clip size and the regular AR with a regular clip size are extremely useful, high damage, uh, and having that extra, you know, a few bullets per clip can help you out with spray, especially if you're in competitive and you're trying to get into a box, you have that eight extra bullets to get in and also fight the person to keep spraying. It's so really good, especially if you're on controller, obviously, for obvious reasons, uh, aim assist and stuff like that. So definitely an S tier there. Now, the basic armor, I think we have our first B here. Um, I mean, it, does, it gets the job done. It's better than the other armors because it has more armor than them. Um, and it, yeah, like I said, it just gets the job done. It's just basically armor itself. There's no special abilities to it or anything like that. So um, definitely in the B tier range. Now, on to the best armor, which is the energy armor. This is the best, 100%. Extra shield. Um, recovers your shield over time. It's an epic armor. Um, it literally has the highest rarity in the game itself. And uh, yeah, it gives you extra armor based off of its level. And it helps you with recovering some of your shields during end game. So it's really good for fighting and stuff like that. Now it doesn't give you any like weapon boost or anything like that. But I'm pretty sure shield matters a lot more when it comes to that. Especially if you're in a long fight. And like 1v1 class or something like that and you know somebody's like tunneling playing a little, little bit like a rat and they hit you um you can just keep recovering while they're playing like a rat until overtime and then you have more shield than them to go push and stuff like that so um and then it also helps you because you don't take that much uh white health since you're sitting there recovering the whole time so anyways guys that's pretty much it for the uh armor tier list here so let me know in the comments which one you guys want to see next and uh maybe i'll go out of order i said it was gonna be, uh, i was gonna do the pickaxe one let me know if you guys have any specific ideas for tier lists outside of the player and the uh, pickaxe one, because those ones are definitely coming. I just need a uh, you know a more broad list if you guys have any. Uh, maybe we'll do like a mode tier list or something like that. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like and sub. And guys, I'm going to pop it up on screen right here. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of people you watch. Uh, or a lot of people that watch do not subscribe to the channel. So what you guys should do is hit that sub button so we can get more videos that you guys like to watch. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, see you guys in the next one.